Hi, I'm Sonia and I help people take their power back. If you're interested in coaching with me or want to donate to my channel, links in the description to my Ko-Fi page. If you haven't already proven to yourself that your thoughts create your reality, check out Create Your Manifestation Lifestyle here on YouTube. That link is also in the description. Today I want to talk about why the law of assumption is a law. The law of assumption is a law just like the law of gravity is a law in our physical reality. But the law of assumption is a spiritual law. But they're both laws. So if you are questioning manifesting, if you are questioning the law of assumption, if you're doubting the law of assumption, you have it proven to yourself that your thoughts and your assumptions and your mental state creates your physical reality. That is all that it is. The more that you prove to yourself that what you think and what you assume becomes true, you will stop having to like have faith in it. You're just gonna do it because you know that it works. The difference between gravity and the law of assumption is that you're very familiar with gravity. It's just kind of there, right? You haven't proven, like, we are not taught that what we are thinking about has any say over anything, so we doubt that that's how it works. But you can prove to yourself that that is how it works. And it works constantly. It is always working, just like gravity. You don't question gravity right like it, it is what it is everything that you do in this life you are revolving around the fact that you stick to the ground and everything else sticks to the ground right you don't doubt that you don't doubt that and you have never had a day or known a person who goes I can't figure out this thing they call gravity it just doesn't I'm the exception to the rule and gravity just, I don't understand how you stay stuck to the ground. I'm just out here floating around. Gravity, I don't understand. Manifestation is not a magic trick. It is not something that only special people can do. It's not even something you have to figure out how to do. You naturally do it. It is how you function in the world. It is how human beings are designed. We are created to be creators. We create with our states of consciousness. Our states of consciousness come from what we assume to be true in the present moment. And that puts us into different states of reality or states of consciousness or realities. However you want to word it, it's all the same thing. But it's always working always if like do this experiment think about something in your life that you don't want to be true anymore how do you constantly think about it does the outside world mirror back to you what you're thinking yes it does every single time every single time Start looking at that. Start looking at all the ways that what you think about is mirrored back to you throughout the day, good or bad. It's constantly happening. There is no, you can manifest this, but you can't manifest this. There is no, you can only manifest good things. You can only, like, n none of that. Everything you are experiencing is based off of your assumptions that you are currently making at any moment, you can change those assumptions to whatever you want them to be. There are no rules except for the ones that you tell yourself are true and there are no limits. If you can have the thought, it is possible. The only reason it's not possible to you is because you tell yourself it's not possible and you give yourself a list of all the reasons that it's not possible, which makes you right because you assumed all of those things were true. The law of assumption, the law of gravity. That is how the world 
works. That's it. The thing that you need to work on is proving to yourself that this controls things, not controls things, but chooses things. When you're choosing your thoughts, things change. When you do it consistently, things change. If you consistently have the same thoughts, you're going to consistently get the same results. It's all about the things that you choose to assume in the moment. Your brain doesn't know the difference between you telling it what's actually happening and you telling it bullshit. I actually saw a great video on TikTok the other day from uh, Marissa Peer. She's a hypnotherapist. She had two pieces of bread and she's like, if I have a warm piece of bread and I put butter on it, it's gonna absorb the butter. If I have a piece of bread and I spray deodorant on it and oil on it and all the stuff on it, it's gonna absorb it because that's what bread does. Your subconscious is the same way. Your mind, your brain, the creative part of you accepts whatever you tell it. Whatever you tell it, it doesn't give a shit whether it's true or not. It's gonna make it true. That's up to you. You have the choice to accept or reject your thoughts, to choose which state you're gonna be in, to choose what is going to be true and what isn't going to be true. That is the law. And just like gravity, it works 24-7, 365. It does not stop. It is always working. Now it is time for you to develop the awareness and accept or reject the thoughts that you're having. By doing that consistently, your outer world has no choice but to reflect the new version of you. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Love and light.